Hey everyone, we are third year electronic students from DS Sangvi College of Engineering. So we have developed a basic fruit ninja game uh, using MIT App Inventor. So basically, uh, I'll start. I'll guide you through the uh, interface of this game. So as soon as uh, we uh, open the app, we, the first interface that is the play button. So using this, you can uh, start the game. And this is the main interface of the game. That is uh, the fruit. Uh, this is the basic uh, the ninja. And using these keys, you can move towards right or left. And uh, we have introduced three fruits here. And these are the three lives of the ninja. So as soon as all the lives gets destroyed, so this is the end interface. That is the game over part. And you can see your scores here, and uh, you can restart it again. We head onto the main interface page, and which will call the procedure start game. And here I've chosen three different fruits, and uh, I use this key variable over here and define random speed to each of the fruit. And since I want the fruit to be broken down, so the heading would be set to negative integer value. And uh, Again, since uh, I want the fruit to be coming from randomly towards the x-axis, so the x-axis would be varying. So I have chosen from 20 to 130. So between these values, this particular fruit would be falling down. Since the y-axis won't change, so the y-axis is static for the remaining fruits too. The next function is the arrow part, where I have two arrows, the right and the left arrow. So if I want to move the ninja towards the right, so the right side would be incremented by 15. And if I want to move the ninja towards the left side, so it would be directly incremented by 15. And comes the fourth part, when the image collides uh, with the fruit. That is when the ninja will collide with one of the fruit. So what will happen? So once the fruit collides with the ninja, the speed would be incremented by the value present over here. For example, if strawberry is falling with a uh, speed of 2, so when it collides with uh, the ninja, the speed would change from 2 plus 1, that is current speed, plus the added value over here. So the next time the strawberry falls would be with a speed of 3. So that is the same with the other fruits. The third part comes over here is above the total score, that how score would be determined. So for over here, again, once the fruit reaches the edge, uh, that is the bottom part of the interface, so which will call the game over option. So since I have here defined three right lines, so once each fruit touches the uh, bottom interface, that's how the lifetime would be determined. So, for example, at the first case, if strawberry touches the edge first, so one lifetime has been uh, gone. So, now only two are left. Similarly, for other two fruits. So, that's how the lifetime uh, decreases. Once the lifetime is set to zero, like there is no lifetime available now to the user, so the main so the, uh, game would exit from the, uh, the interface. As my colleague explained, uh, these are named blocks. I'm going to show you how the game actually works. After clicking the play button, as you can see, there's uh, one ninja, three fruits three hearts and uh, there's a left and right option to move left and right whenever the ninja touches the fruit uh, the points get incremented by one uh, every time a fruit uh, gets catch or, or touch uh, the fruit speed also gets incremented by one and if uh, two fruits gets uh, clash or collapse the points get incremented by two as you can see uh, the ninja didn't touch the fruit and uh, the heart gets decremented by one and uh, it also keeps happening again and again uh, whenever he doesn't touch or uh, doesn't catch the fruit uh, after the game gets over uh, it will display game over your score and restart button will appear after uh, clicking or restart the game starts again